Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Let me crank that music on down. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is Monday, Mentorship Monday. It has been a, a very long time. We did uh, put out a video last week kind of talking about the state of the union here with Algobox. Uh, our crew has grown over the last, I guess we've been out uh, more than five years now, and we have come up to the new generation of Ninja Trader 8 with Algobox now, and we've got a lot of things to talk about. Um, mic check is good, thank you Bitcode. Um, so I am recording this event here tonight. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different than any of our other videos. So tonight, um, you know, a lot of times I, I ask you guys, pull out your notepads, you guys take notes. Um, tonight is sort of my turn to, um, I'm gonna take notes tonight. Um, so I wanna hear from our crew things about you know, things that you guys like that we've done, things that need to be changed. I know we've, we've got a lot of feedback, so I'm gonna start with kind of giving you guys what I have heard, what I plan to do, but then I'd like some additional feedback on how we go as we push forward. Things like how we live stream, whether we do more live stream, whether we do less live stream, just recordings, shorter, longer, um, how we divide up our subjects. We've got a lot of things, and I'm gonna give you guys kind of, you know what I think uh, first, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the music completely off here uh, for the video content purposes because I really do want to hear. Um, I do have the microphones open. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, it's Curtis in here. No, uh, how about Steve? Uh, Steve, are you here? Is your is your microphone available that I can kind of use you as a mic test? Can you hear me? Um, I see him in there, but I don't know if his mic is working. Um, how about, I'm about to pick on somebody, Desto. How are you doing, sir? I see you in here in the room. Uh, do you have a do you have a microphone available for chat? Let me move our room over here and let's see. Yeah, how about how about I should just ask this? Any volunteers to do a mic check with me? Um, we'll do the first one. I'll volunteer one. for a mic check. Okay. Gloria Central, great. what's up, Central? How you doing, my friend? Glad to be here. Doing hey, excellent, Vinny. sir. All right, I hear a few of you guys. Oh man, this is gonna be fun, I think, actually. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully it's not completely chaotic. Um, I will say that as we kind of, uh, there are gonna probably be people popping in and out of here and we'll hear that little click, 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 click. So again, we're, we are recording this so other people will be able to come back and uh, see this later. So also, if anybody is gonna get on the microphone, you're kind of agreeing to be okay with being on a uh, video that people might publicly see. So just that note, um, if you're, you know, you don't have to talk, but if you'd like to, there we go. We got all that stuff out of the way. Um, everything sounded pretty good to me. Um, can everybody else in the room hear the other folks who are chatting there? Did you guys hear everything all right? Type a one if you guys could hear it all right. Two, if you're having some problems. Okay, I'm seeing lots of ones there in the room. So that tells me we are, are good. If you are having problems, it's probably on your end as we go forward. But uh, this is the room over here in the E-mini trade floor there where everybody is chatting. Um, so we got, if you did not see the State of the Union video last week, I would step back and go and check that one out so you kind of know and understand. Uh, what we're doing, where we're going. Um, I'm literally planning on even tonight doing a training video after this. I've got several topics lined up that you know I know that we could go into. Um, but as we start to build this forward, our main focus is sort of, you know, we've done NT7, right? We've got the basket of information out there for using all of the Ninja Trader 7 tools, and they're the same in NT8 with some nuances, of course. Um, some of the, the the visuals are slightly different, some of the option locations are different, even some of the audio sections are a little bit different. Um, I will say right up front, anybody who is currently using Ninja Trader 8, if you're using um, Algobox, uh, we have seen that we've got some folks having crashing issues. Not everybody is having that, but with our current default layouts, um, there are some things that we're having to work through for performance. Um, we are seeing some some pretty degrading um, performance and Ninja Trader 8, like that's the main thing. It's the whole point of kind of going over there. It's multi-threaded, it should be better. Um, so we are aware of those, just so you know, that's what that is literally our primary thing from a technical standpoint that we are working through. So I still am going to recommend as of right now, everybody stay on Ninja Trader 7 if you are trading live, especially if you are intending on going over to NT8 or you're an NT8 diehard, you know, you will need to work through a couple of things. It is functional, um, but there are some things that are performance wise. If you're gonna spread out and do multiple instruments, what we found is once you get to about three instruments, we're really starting to see some degradation in some things. So we are aware of that. However, if you're just trading one instrument over our normal six to eight charts, you're probably fine. But when you start expanding out and I set up my entire system over here on my five screen verticals, and once I've got 
about four um, instruments set up the whole thing like it this stuff is not even it's not movable um it's not it's not usable and that's not good uh, you know on ninja trader 7 I'll, i'm able to literally fill up all of my screens um all instruments seven or eight instruments at a time multi chart and that's single threaded so we obviously know there's some things that we're working on so we are aware of that um as we launch forward with the nt8 some of the stuff will be review um, we, but, but what I want to do is actually do it better, right? I want to know what we've done in the past that's good. I want to know about the things that are bad and kind of avoid those as we go forward. And I really just want to put out, you know, the best uh, video content that we can get in the, the most. I, I know that uh, I'll, I'll give you one of the things that I already know. When I go back and watch my old videos, I realize that because I do them in a live stream format, a lot of what I'm doing, I'm doing it on the fly. I'm doing it with interaction with people and there's no way that I can cut away in everything that I'm having to do. I'm having to kind of think through and push through as I'm doing it in the charts, which once I kind of get the flow of things, it's good. But sometimes the videos, they've got either slow starts. Um, somebody said your mic is unmuted. Oh, I was talking to somebody else. Uh, you know, there's some things that, you know, the, the, it doesn't start right in. And I, I know how it is when you're trying to go and learn something, uh, you want to get in there and you want to get right to the meat of it. You don't want to waste time. You want to get to it. And as much as I try to do that, I recognize that when I go back and listen to my videos, unless I'm playing it back at high speed, which is what I recommend, by the way, everybody needs to make sure that on YouTube you have found the fast forward button. And I don't mean the fast forward button, but I mean the play at higher speed. You can do, you know, 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 1.75. Um, even at 2x, I uh, sound a little bit like a chipmunk, but hey, you know, I, sometimes I speak slow enough that on 2x it sounds good. So I'm aware of a few of those things, but I'd like to hear some feedback like that. Tell me, and and there is nothing that uh, I'm not going to take anything offensively here tonight. You know, unless you're talking about my mom, then we have a problem. Okay. <laughs> so, but uh, you know, if you if you have feedback for me, you know, I want to hear the critiques. You guys know I am vicious with you guys, right? I am relentless. I'm like, guys, you know, I will pound you. So I am expecting. Um, that I will receive the beatings, so bring them, tell me what is crap about what we're doing, tell me what we're doing too much of, tell me what we're doing too little of, and I wanna hear um, a lot about that. Now, let me start right out with some of the things I already saw. Let's uh, let's go through some of the things that you guys have typed out. If you guys wanna type up some other things, I'm literally gonna make sure that everything is there. And I literally got my notepad and pen here, and everything that you guys talk about here tonight, I will apply it. Now, I will have questions, so again, some things I may wanna expound on. Um, and now some things are going to be put out and there may be explanations as to why we don't do something. Um, you know, I've had a conversation um, just a couple days ago with Jerry. You know, he had a great idea with doing some sound stuff. I explained, you know, some things that I really want to keep. Um, some of these things I have reasons for not giving too many options. Um, there are a lot of systems out there. Look, you know, there's like all kinds of software providers out there that will give you every option under the sun. But what we're doing is narrowing down those options. Everybody's using the same tools. Everybody's using the same rules, even the same sounds, even the same visual settings so that when you see a screenshot from somebody else, you can you can learn from theirs, they can learn from you, and there's no questions. You can literally get right in, and everything that we're doing is about keeping things down and, and clean to the point where there is no distraction. You know exactly what to do, so that there is uh, we are eliminating as much gray area as possible. Because let's talk, let's let's think about it. Trading in general, unfortunately, that's the problem with most trading is that there's so many gray areas. I mean, if I hear one more time somebody out there being like, oh, you can trade any way you want, you know, it's just your style, whatever you feel like, oh my word. The reason they say that is because they don't have a plan, they don't have uh, a style or strategy that they actually know that works. They've never been mentored before by somebody who actually is doing trading and there's too many fakers out there. So with that being said, um, let's go into some of these. So I'm gonna come up here and we had some from Mike. Uh, here's Nick first here. Um, sort of, okay, no, never mind. That was uh, something else. Okay, here it is, Mike. Uh, no, nope, that was something else. Okay, the horizontal lines. Okay, this is a specific topic, and this is a new, uh, a new thing, more of a, an enhancement and an addition to what we're already doing. Um, the question around that is around how to use the Flowmaster product and when we draw the horizontal lines. Um, if anybody wants to go and look at those, I'm going to give the short, brief synopsis of this right now but i will do an entire video on that one mike um if you go back and watch the video on the flow master where i'm doing double crosses the short answer is this when you see a double white cross on the lowest entry time frame meaning like a one or a two bar this does not apply to the three bar and above okay so we're taking notes this is on the ones or twos um why down there there's a lot of reasons it has to do with the style of the algo bar itself i'm not talking about range bars I'm talking about the algo bars on the ones or twos on the entry charts when you see the double cross scenario, draw a white horizontal line, simple, right? You just go click, F, uh, F6, click, click, right? Or whatever you've got for your hotkey bind, click, click, that's it, mark it, okay? It's white. 
We've always done that. Go back and watch a video on it. The expansion to that with this horizontal line concept that um, Steve was really kind of going into and really he's really digesting that and, and seeing um, some addition to enhance what we're already doing is drawing the same horizontal line that we're identifying as a location for what I call an area of interest or a price point of interest because it is literally an actual price. When you draw that horizontal line, we know it's at a price point, right? So on that price point, what we're looking to do is draw horizontal there. However, what Steve has identified is he will also take into consideration the color. Although you guys know that I preach that the color does not matter. So be careful with what I'm about to tell you. Just because the color shows up, I am telling you right now, that does not tell you what direction it's going. That is what a lot of I'll call them false teachers, scammers, all these people think that the color of the volume bar, that, oh, okay, it's a lot of buyers here. Listen, for every buyer, there is a seller. This is, there are rules in, in place that you cannot bypass. That is a false narrative that people say, oh, there's more buyers and sellers here because it's green. No, it has to do with the aggressiveness of the bid or ask being hit. There is always one buyer for one seller, so always keep that in mind. But all that being said, when we are drawing the horizontals now, the new thing is this above a level two, okay? So meaning algo bars, three, four, five, on above, just not on the ones and twos. On a three level was a specific one that, um, that Steve was talking about. So on the threes, just as simple as this, not a double cross, but a single cross, or if you've got the bubbles enabled, they're the same. The cross or the bubble showing up on the threes, draw the horizontal line on any cross that shows up in real time, okay? Now, when you draw that horizontal line, he is looking down at the bottom to see what the volume color is. And by the volume color, that is simply on our volume up down. I uh, almost we'll pull this up because we are recording this. What we're talking about is when you see a volume, you're gonna end up seeing a volume spike like this. This one right here, this is a green one. Okay, this one is a red one. I'm gonna put a screenshot of this in the room for those who are hanging out here with us tonight. And so we have that in the room, All right? So green one on the left. Red one on the right, you see that in the room for you guys who are hanging out in the room there with us. So on a green volume spike, we are drawing a green horizontal line. Um, if it is a red, we are drawing a red horizontal line. Now, Steve likes to have them on dashes. I think that's a good idea. I personally like solids across vert. I don't really care about that because you know a line is a line. So take your pick on how you like them. Um, mine will likely be very thin um, and very solid. Um, Steve's are dashes and a little bit thicker, okay. Um, that's it, okay? That's that's what he had said. The enhancement to that, again, even farther, when you get to the fives, I would suggest that if that shows up on the fives or above, again, we, I really don't ever use the fours. That's sort of this middle spot. If you're using fours, you know, take your pick on how you wanna do that. But you know me, I'm using ones, twos, threes, fives, and eights, right? That's what I always talk about. You guys see that on my charts all the time. I don't really use anything else. So on the five, we are going to draw a blue or a pink, okay? Which you guys already know. What does our blue or pink indicate? That means it's even more powerful, right? A blue dot has more points of confluence, more strength in that location, more things going on at that location. So we turn it blue or we turn it pink. It's as simple as that. So what we're gonna do is on a five level, we are considered that to be even more of a point of interest or we'll call it a weight. We're giving it a weighting for that horizontal. And you wanna set all of those lines to global so that it will show up on all of your charts. So if the price approaches that on any chart, you'll see it there and you can make decision points off of that. And we'll go into decision things in the other videos, okay? But just in general, all you're doing is threes, you're putting greens and reds, fives, you are putting blues and pinks, all right? Okay, so that is some of the horizontal. Let's go to our next one here. Horizontal lines, uh, criteria on going against the MACV. Okay, so that's, uh, that's pretty specific. And that will be a whole video section. Again, I'll, I'll say a whole video. Again, we want to we want to cut down on cut down the length of those videos. I definitely have gotten a lot of feedback on that. Uh, I'll, I'll ask just to confirm with that here in a bit, as we have some feedback from you guys directly. But trying to get those down to shorter time frames. Um, my concern with that is always that if uh, if I don't cover all of the aspects of things, then somebody reads in what or not reads, but watches one video, they feel like they've got everything involved with it. They're not including everything from things like particularly lessons one through six. They see one video, it's one 10 minute thing. They go with exactly what's in it, but because I cut out all of the lead up to it or all of the other scenarios, um, I, I'm a little bit fearful of that, but you know, we'll, we're gonna play it this way. So we're gonna try to do is shorter videos, very specific to exactly the answers that you're looking for. But that also is gonna require you guys to make sure you're fishing a little bit more. And there is some more susceptibility to doing things 
Um, you could have bigger drawdowns because you are only taking smaller things into account. So just keep that in mind as you are studying through with the new stuff. Okay, opposing MACB. And the other question was uh, signs that the trend is going to reverse. All right. Um, yeah, so everything that we do here is reverse, by the way. You know, I, I say that even if you're continuing into a trend, what are we looking for? We are looking for the miniature reversal. That is called an efficiency entry. So we're always looking for a reversal. Uh, but I know what you're asking there on that. You're looking for you know, a sign of a big reversal. We'll talk about that. Um, context has a lot to do with that. And it's not something that is absolutely necessary with our system because what we're doing is playing a video game. We don't have to decide on when those big moves are. But of course, things like, I'll just give big hints right there. One big one is, what is the pop quiz time for everybody in the room here? See if you guys can answer this. What is the primary time that we are looking for the big reversal? What's our time slot window that we're looking for the big fat reversal. Let's see who gets that answer. I'm scroll down here to the bottom, see if, uh... oh, look at this, beast mode. Look at this, hey, you guys know, everybody knows. All right, it's great. Oh, look at that, even throw down the sessions, Bitcode knows what's up. So right there, you see that? And often we'll see the big reversal right here in that 11 to one o'clock spot. And what are we looking for with that? Usually big capitulation move tends to be a volume spike in that area, big fake out trap. You wanna see the trap and hopefully you get a J hook. I mean, that's that's my favorite play in that spot. You know, there are other ways that that can occur, but I'm telling you, usually trap, boom, J hook, roll, never comes down past and those can turn into monster, monster moves. Um, but things like that, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, we got the 220 reversal, you know, 1010 10 reversals, all that kind of good stuff. We'll, uh, we'll do a whole video series on that for you. Um, let's see, we've got another, uh, great results, by the way, today. Saw you guys absolutely crushing it again. Great stuff. Appreciate you guys who are posting out your results. Uh, that really helps other people as well. Are you going to record the audio? Yes. Um, grandparents house. Okay, so some folks wanted to watch the video tonight. That's good. How about your thoughts on who is really in trouble and more of the thought process inside of a trap and distribution leg? Um, yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, can anybody think? Uh, we have a video on this. There's a... There's probably several. I can think of one off the top of my head where I really go into that trap thing. Um, but Dwelp, I would say there's actually some pretty solid videos on there. Let's kind of get the um, let's get the temperature of the room. What do you guys think about Dwelp's question here? He said, "How are your thoughts on who is really in trouble? More on the thought process of inside of trap or distribution leg." I feel like I've covered that pretty thoroughly in some of our videos. I don't mind coming back and doing some of those. But if um, anybody wants to find the videos where we've got that in there, I know one specifically is literally called. It's a trap um, in the mentorship premium member section on the website. I believe it's like video around 14 or 15 or so, less than 14 or 15. It's a trap. And I go into that whole thing. Um, that's also in the video entitled Advanced Level J Hook. So if you are Googling, you can type in Vinny E Mini Advanced Level J Hook. And I really talk about that. Another one is the Richie Trap. Um, so I talk about that a lot. I would say I think I've covered that, but I don't mind um, doing another one on um, on traps. Um, but those are definitely out there. And I do recommend you guys to just watch those videos in order that I put there on those playlists and you should be covered. All right, July said, let to see more micro learnings. Sometimes when going to review lesson, it's hard to find. Yeah, so this is the feedback I get. I have gotten quite a lot is digging through a one to two hour video. Now, I wanna put some things out there about that. Um, who, uh, where is he? Desto, where's Desto at? What's up, Desto? Okay, so you guys need to give Desto a big round of applause. Um, he has, as he's been going through the videos, um, down below, let's, I'm just going to randomly select one. And I'll randomly select one and see if he's got some notes down here. You guys should look for Desto's notes down below the videos, the longer ones, because he's got these things broken down. Oh, of course I picked the one he didn't do. All right, he didn't do the one on the plover. <laughs> Desto might still be going through videos. Um, Desto, you got an example of one that you've um, done, maybe the Harmonic dot. Let's, As a so let's scroll down here and got lots of comments. Appreciate all you guys who put in the comments. Nope, not on that one. Oh man, sorry Desto, I'm like, uh, I'm striking out here on you. Um, I know that he has gone through a lot of these videos he and went into as he went through, he was taking notes and putting the timestamp of the location where each thing was talked about. Um, Brian, uh, Mr. Cook used to do that a lot for us um, a long time ago. And 
You know what? It's probably the old channel. Let me go back to the old channel stuff here. Uh, our mentorship. Wait for it. Okay, here's some from Mr. Cook. So here's an example here. Of course, you guys can't see this. Uh, actually, let me take a screenshot of this. So inside of those longer videos, um, there are... He's taking a screenshot here. All right, and I'll paste this here in the room. Where those little highlighted blue timestamps will actually take you to exactly the spot where some of those topics are covered. However, I have said this before, it's a little bit difficult to find some of our stuff. So if you're searching by topic, that's where things really get tricky. So if you guys have suggestions on that, I am all open for this. I've had several ideas. Um, I've, I've run this by, with um, one of my one of our members, one of my buddies from, from Houston. Let's see if he's got it. Um, where's Matt's stuff at? And premium. Da, 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 Matt's place. So he is working on some pretty extensive notes. I don't see them in here yet. Um, Matt, are you in here tonight? I don't think he, I don't know if I didn't see him in here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Matt, are you, uh, can you get on the microphone real quick and have a chat and maybe kind of let folks know what you're doing um, with the note stuff? If you, uh, if you can hear me, let me know. I see you're on mute right now, just FYI. He might be away. Matt's going once. Going twice. All right, Matt's, <laughs> Matt's not online right now. Uh, but Matt, we should be seeing something. Uh, so he's uh, semi-new. He's been with us maybe a few months, but he's going through uh, all the videos like we would normally have to do. It's a new person coming through, so it makes sense for him. He's also um, a, I don't want to mess up what he is, but he's, he's a, kind of a master's level professor at um, university, and he actually teaches classes at university, so he's very good at kind of putting that type of stuff together. He volunteered to put some things together. I believe he's using Microsoft OneNote, don't quote me on that, but he was going to make it so that, because I told him the best thing that we need really is everything broken down by topic. And even if you select a topic that you can just pff, give me a spurt out list of all the videos where that topic is talked about. That's, I guess, my best solution. Um, you know, any feedback on that? What do you guys have? You know, feel free, open up your mics, talk to me on this one particularly. If you wanted to find information about a topic, what do you expect to see? And suggestions on that would be great. Any I think timestamps are, are phenomenal. You know, you're looking for a topic, boom, mm -hmm. you click it and uh, forward you right to the place in the video. Um, so those, I think, are yeah, great. Yeah, that definitely solves one part of the problem inside the video of where it's going to be. But so let's say that mm -hmm. I have, here's, I'll explain the problem. So I've got, uh, let's say that I've got five videos on things where I've talked about the Richie Trap. Okay, so there is an actual Richie Trap video, but when people wanna see, like, they want to see me talking about live, um, live examples, there may be three other videos where I'm talking about the Richie Trap. So I would like those referenced somewhere. Now, obviously, I don't have, a, like, okay, in this video, I talked about Richie Trap, and, and it's kinda of hard if you're Googling to find what somebody put down in the comments. So if somebody did put it in the comments, it said, oh, at timestamp 70306, he talked about a you know three Richie Trap scenarios, but that gets lost because the topic of the video is like Vinny's Q and A on advanced topics, right? That so it doesn't say um, Richie Trap in uh, the in title. The, it's not searchable. You see? How about in the scratch sections? So say if there's five different videos that all have timestamps that reference uh, the shark back trade, you could put we could post them all in the strap channel. Um, yes, screenshots. So, so see that that would be awesome. Um, but like organizing that or who's going to do that. So I'll also say this, yeah. <laughs> folks, my time, my time is limited. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was Superman. I wish I could do everything, but this is where I kind of go. And I would also need people to kind of volunteer to kind of want to like, I, I'll take up that mantle or get an idea or get some people together that really, as you're going through the videos, you're also sort of organizing or taking notes and being like, okay, so, you know, oh, I saw him talk about this and this and this and this in the video and kind of doing that. For us, so you know, if you would you like to kind of volunteer to, to help out, do do some of that, like your your thought and your idea there, dropping them actually in the strat zones. I think that's a great idea. Hey, Vinny, um, this is July eighty five. Excellent. What's up, July? I'd like to volunteer with that because okay, um, I'm actually going through all of the videos right now myself. Beautiful first time. Beautiful. Um, so I, I think number one, thank you so much for putting your time into this product because it's an amazing product. 
Thank um, you, sir. Appreciate so I, that. I can definitely help with the, the strat stuff and try to kind of make it cohesive. I think there may be some cases um, where there might have to be like a video done to cover all of it again. And the reason why I say that is like, I'll give you a perfect example, right? Mm -hmm. so if you go through the prerequisites, the wedge video is before the wham video you kind of get uh -huh. a circular reference if you watch both of the videos because yes. in the wedge video you're talking about the wham entry yes in the wham video you're talking about how to identify the wedge so yes. as a new learner it becomes a circular reference because you're like wait i'm supposed to know this already and i'm watching the video teaching me how to draw a wedge and then you go to wham and you're watching wham you're like wait i should know how to draw a wedge yes so, yeah no, i'm definitely totally, willing to I help and kind of close those gaps yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. Um, how would you do that scenario? So like basically both of those videos are wedge, right? And they're also wham. So if somebody is typing in, you know, well, Vinny's talked about how to trade a wedge, you know, they want to, where are they going to type in? First of all, type wedge, right? Where are they going to search for that? <laughs> and then how are both of those videos going to pop up in, you know, as the links that are available to do that, right? That's what I'm trying to create. And that's what I kind of talked to Matt about. And he's trying to do in OneNote. Because I was like, look, this is like a, you know, this is a database scenario. It's a one-to-many relationship uh, based on, you know, a data person. I'm a, I'm a data guy, so I kind of think in one-to-many's, in many-to-many's. So this is a, so one URL, one URL, <laughs> actually it is a many-many, that's why this is even more complicated. Because it's, uh, you've got one URL that links to the A video, which has multiple topics, but then these, each of these topics also has multiple video references for all of those, right? So this is the, the process of how, if you were searching as a person that wanted to do it, and again, now my answer to the whole thing is, I expect that you guys go all the way from the top, learn them in order, and in fact, if you watch those two videos in order, it should have built on the other, and by the time you finished both of them, did you understand what you were supposed to do after you completed both of those videos? I guess my question to you. You should, it might cause you to rewatch another one again, just to make sure that it clicks, right? So okay. Yes. Oh, and by the way, oh, I don't expect you to gather everything in one video watch. So this is the other thing about when, when um, I, did a oh, I think we're getting some cross talk there. Um, but no, when we have, uh, you know, I, you are going to probably have to go back to, you know, those other videos and, and learn. Or if you took really great notes, in my opinion, it just depends, right? Like there, everybody gets it a little bit different. You know, some people need to watch it three times to gather it. Um, you know, if you actually do it the way that I teach it. So I should probably mention this at the beginning is, you know, my expectation is that you watch a video you practice the video, right? Like in the first one, if I'm just literally telling you how to draw wedges and measure, because in that video, I think the one you're talking about is where I'm, is it called the perfect wedge? Is that the perfect wedge video that you're talking about? Yeah, where you're t talking how to measure kind of the, the third pivot and the fourth pivot to make sure that you should take the wham. Yes, yeah, so the what I call that video is entitled the perfect wedge. So first, and that's where you need to start because I actually put that first because I actually learned uh, from a guy who's no longer with us anymore, a guy who ended up turning to a giant, ginormous troll um, and one of the people who died to jump on the uh, attackers of Macro Hedge back, uh, back in the day uh, and John Sue and that little turd fest. Um, he's no longer with us. Wham Master Troy, if you guys remember him, he used to be around here a lot. Well, we called him the Wham Master because that was his that was his bread and butter. But what's interesting is I started finding out when he was when we'd have our conversations of his struggles was that it's uh, I call it that whole um, if you're a hammer, everything starts to look like a nail. So if he's only looking for wedges, I would look at what he was drawing as a wedge. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. that's not that's not a wedge. Hold on, wait, th that's not a wedge. I would see screenshot after screenshot. Now, mind you, he wasn't doing what I was telling him to. Like I tell you guys, post screenshots in the room so that I can see it and see it while it's happening. But you know, I'm getting it in hindsight and I found it out later. So what I learned through his experience was that, oh, it's actually possible to draw a wedge wrong. Hence where I went out and took the extra link to go, here's how, if I, how could I measure a wedge to guarantee you that even you as a new person would maximize and always draw the wedge properly so that you don't fall into Wham Master Troy's scenario where he's drawing wedges that, I know you guys can't see this right now. I'll try to take a screenshot, but he's like, you know, we're looking at ascending wedges, descending wedges. He would just draw anything. And then if they connected, then, you know, then this must be a wham and a wedge. And it was like, no, no, no. So this is where that video came of, you know, when we're talking about wedge, what type of wedge, measuring these out, making sure the proper distance so that when you are hitting a wham, because we're trying to, we're trying to maximize our edge. We're not just trying to like find stuff and, you know, fire at it and whatnot. We want to, if we see these things, we expect a win. Um, so that's how that came about. Um, but yeah, to try to, to try video, to solve so. that, I, I do need to I do need to figure that out. So uh, I I think maybe this one might be a broader topic. So I'll just throw my name in the hat. Okay. For whoever wants to get together to 
kind of you know update or enhance the materials that are available. Um, so another option that I thought of, uh, and again it's up to your discretion, obviously, is like in some of the the categories, would there be a subject matter expert from the crew where we could make the smaller cliff note videos for the team. Right? So what I mean by that is there are some strategies, and I might be wrong by saying this, uh -huh. I'm also a very fast learner. Sure. There are some strategies that with one 30 minute video, you could give the entire explanation. You have to go out and practice it. You could technically learn the strategy in 30 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. But, I mean, there's, there's perfect examples, headshot, plover, you know, straight to it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Now, obviously, you have to have your prerequisites done. You have to know what the order of operations are. You Bingo. have to have a general. You have to have understanding of what the golden ropes are and when, and they will interfere with the trade setup, if they're going to interfere. Right. So you you have to have that foundation, so to speak. Yeah. And once you've got that foundation, me personally, again, I haven't been through it all the way, but I feel like thirty minute videos on each strategy, if you have your foundation. Well, you'll you'll get the strategy and you can start practicing right exactly 100 percent. i'm glad man that you just solidify that i feel like I, i'm feeling pretty good that means that i'm teaching it right because that's exactly what i expect and i want people to do now is go into that videos lessons one through six what i try to do is condense the core and go these are your primary what i call your filters right major minor main filters what's our favorable direction what's our mac v doing where is our golden ropes are we sideways know what your favorable scenario is and then boom the execution the entry point is a headshot or a double dot or a plover or right so the, our list of of entry points bingo that's awesome yeah i love it well i'm trying I'll, I'll give another example you guys tell me what's wrong with this um i again i'm a simple solution type of guy when when possible i don't just because it's complicated doesn't mean it's better right and i actually think that if we just had an excel spreadsheet that solves this whole many to many thing um that if you were to go on excel you guys know you can hit Control f right for find and so you just find everywhere like just find all the cells that have like let's say that i'm looking for every time that i've talked about headshots right now it would require that somebody as they're watching a video like they've got the url right they, they copy this url so i'm doing this in a video here but copy the url okay so imagine because i know you guys don't have a video right now and you're not watching this but you've got the URL there, and let's see if I uh, let me do Excel here. I'm gonna open up an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, blank, that's fine. What is it doing here, Tim? Just open up a blank, please. Thank you. All right. So uh, just one column over here. Here is the URL, and now I may I'm gonna paste this literally ten times. Okay, just just because we can. Okay, because what I know is that I'm gonna have probably 10 topics in this video. Like if I'm doing a Vinny's Q&A video. So over here, um, I'll have, so headshot was, was talked about. We had um, two finger salute. Um, we had the double dot. All right, so now I'm gonna go down to, like I've got a, another URL now. So I'm gonna grab a later on. So hopefully when you guys see this video later, it will make sense. So I'm gonna grab this Go ahead and go download it, maybe while we are taking care of some of this housekeeping. Order Let's flow. get this thing rolling. Okay, so this is Plover. So now I've got this URL, and I'll paste it five times because I might talk about some other topics in there. So yes, it's primary is Plover, but in here I might also be talking about Golden Rope Filter. I might have also talked about the trap. I might also talked about a J-hook reference. And now here's the thing, <laughs> if you're gonna search for J-hook, would you type, you guys tell me, you guys know the J-hook, when you guys see J-hook, do you see it as one word with a dash? Do you see it as J-hook, all one word? Do you see J space hook? What do you guys see? If you're gonna search for J-hook, what are you gonna type in for your primary search? Let's show, um, if we're gonna show of hands, everybody type in the word J-hook without looking at somebody else, just type it in the main chat, type J-hook, and let me see what all comes out. If you're searching for J-hook, what are you gonna do? Okay, I see some J dashes, I see some J's together, I see J space. So this is what we in the data world call a lossy join. <laughs> okay, uh, do you guys see my point <laughs> with that? It's like, so somebody's like, oh, I only saw one video on J hook and they typed in J space hook, right? But then this is where it gets tricky where we kind of got to have the actual category names and keep that consistent. So I'm just pointing out these problems because as we kind of get together as a team, 
that if these are gonna be labeled, that they actually have to have it. Maybe we do it as a drop down menu, although again, I wanna make this as simple as possible too so people can find it, but, and then maybe it's like a find replace, all right? So we, we standardize it across the board. We always say J dash hook, all right? Or if we wanna keep it, so nobody, it's like shorthand, nobody wants to type the dash. The fastest way to type it is J hook with no spaces, no dashes, because you know what it is, right? You type a search for, of course, maybe you'll just type hook, right? <laughs> So you'll find them all if you search for hook. But um, my point with that is you could come up here and once you get all that, you can go on an Excel spreadsheet and click filter, right? So now you're gonna filter for every video that's got the J hook mentioned, right? So if somebody wants to be a J hook specialist, right? Cause I tell you guys, when your first 40 days, you need to pick out two or three strategies that you are gonna master first. So if you are gonna be a two finger salute master, well, you need to see every video, right? In, in the wheelhouse, everything we've got on two finger salute. And if you wanna narrow it down so you're not paying attention to anything else, if you could get a list of all of the two finger salute videos, wouldn't that be awesome? So this is my goal, okay? But I don't necessarily know how to get there, although I feel like a master Excel spreadsheet could solve this entire problem, but the format of that, we, you know, and, and again, I don't have, I'll be honest, I don't have time <laughs> to go back through all of my videos and, and you know, I don't need to teach myself. It, I'll say this, all the information is there. I want to organize it as well as possible that I can, but at the end of the day, I am, I want the community to kind of pitch in and go, you know what, we want, we want to get together and let's make this like beyond what Vinny can do. Let's make it not just good, like what Vinny could do. Let's make it bad ace, right? Like let's just do the absolute best. And I think you guys can do a better job at it as you guys are going through the material and you're learning it and you're having to watch through it. You can literally copy that URL, put it through your notes and hopefully put in all the topics as well. And I feel like we could probably get a good centralized list, but how do we coordinate that and put it together? Is it a shared Excel spreadsheet? But you guys know how it is like overriding and not overriding. Now I know you can share out a workbook where the cells individually, especially on Google Sheets, it's pretty good about that because it will literally update, you know, that on the fly centrally. So maybe we do it as a Google Sheet. What are y'all's? So I'll put that out there. What are any, anybody's got thoughts on that? So, uh, I'll speak up quick because I'm passionate about learning this fast. Um, right. So right. the Google Sheet I'm good with. Um, Vinny, are you open to identifying SMEs that could re record a 20 minute video that has all of the content so I don't have to go to eight videos? To ah, it? okay, well, hold on. So let me back up on that. Now I, th I will have, I will tell you right now, I will have a video on every topic where I just go from end to end and make sure that it's all there. What I'm adding and enhancing to that is, I think that you can learn from watching live ones, right? Or me looking at someone else's. So I'll give an example. When I'm doing a recap video, right? If I, every video says, oh, recap from you know, July, whatever. A recap video from October, whatever. But how are you gonna know if there was an awesome two finger salute scenario that you wanna see if you're a two finger salute specialist? See what I'm saying? So I can tell you all the rules, but I cannot show you every scenario of two finger salute without live market. Does that make sense? So why I think it's important to, while I can digest and give to you the overall thing, there are things that, like I've said before, the trickiest part about the markets is when there is a, um, remember that video where I say, you know, there are um, 100 types of Fridays, right? Or actually it's more like 20, right? There's 20 types of Fridays. There is first of the month Fridays, there are you know end of quarter Fridays, there are contract rollover Fridays, there are um, 15th of the month Fridays, end of course, you know, so all of those different types of Fridays, I could not do a video with every one of those examples. Does that make sense? So what I would want with that is what I'm saying is, so you have the all encompassing understanding the full strategy scenarios, but if you want to become the master, it's literally, you know, having a thousand swings at the bat, which it can either be your swing or you can also learn from someone else's swing, right? So if you see other people's two finger salutes in that video or this video, um, you guys got RSE, yes, the Google Docs would be nice. So I, again, the Google Doc, I feel like that's a real simple one. I like the hashtag idea. I saw Derek say something about the hashtag. So how would that work? So every video would have, how would we search it then? But yeah, I know like an Instagram, you know, you can search for hashtag, um, but that's it. Oh, you know what it would be? So it'd be keywords, right? So let's call it keywords instead of search terms or topics. Yeah, so like, um, I guess you could do this in one line then. Okay, so let me see. So I'm doing this, I'm looking at one line here. Let me take a screenshot and so, send this to you guys so you know what I'm looking at here in the room, but we are doing this on the video so you guys can look at this later and you know come up with ideas. Because again, I, I really am wanting to do this in the community. And however, I, I wanna come back to your idea about people doing videos, because I am actually going to ask, and you are hitting it. I love the fact that you guys are there, because folks, that means that kind of what I've been thinking 
you guys are kind of approving what I really want to see going forward. I am going to just, <laughs> uh, it's going to be really cool, I think. But I would like to encourage some folks to, you know, stretch their wings a little bit and turn on OBS and record some videos, teaching through, walking through stuff. And I want you, I'm going to give you creative license to go at it and do it. Um, because even if you do it wrong, it doesn't matter. What's great is even if you teach it wrong, I am not gonna just throw the video out there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the video in a live scenario, live stream, and if there's any corrections that need to be done or any enhancements or any add to's, I think that'll be really great. I love that idea. And here's how I'm gonna incentivize you to do that. If you create a video on a topic and you give that to me and I am gonna use it on our YouTube page because you put in the work and you put in the time, what I'm also going to do is every person in here is going to have their own personal invite link to Discord. If you guys don't know how to do that, let me show you how real quick on this video, how to create a Discord link. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest you guys do it in, you'll know, Google it. But you just click up on my server name and click on invite people right down here. Uh, it says that your invite expires in one day. You don't want to do that. Make sure you click on edit this invite link. Select expires after, never. Select maximum users, no limit. Okay and then generate a new link, okay? When you create that link that is specific to you, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is use your link and I'm gonna put that in the description of your video, okay? So that if any person out on the internet ever searches for our stuff, finds it, and your video is the one that convinces them to join into our program, you're automatically getting a referral which is going to generate for you passive income that as people join into our program and people are encouraged by your video, because let's say, like, let me give an example. So I see, uh, let's see who just talked there. So that was, uh, so Desto, he's done a lot of work on putting a lot of things in the notes. So let's say that, uh, you know, Desto puts together a video, sends it over to me, I use it down in the description. You guys know how this works, right? So you're here and, you know, we'll mention it in the video, be like, hey, check out the link down below to join us in Discord. So instead of using my link that's down here, I think is our default, which is somewhere here. There it is, Discord chat room, right? So we're gonna swap out the Discord chat room for your invite link. So if somebody comes through your invite link, you're gonna get the referral money sent to you via PayPal for the person who signs up under you. Any questions on that? Is that a good idea, bad idea, feedback? Again, uh, I'm open to critiques. Smack me in the face, tell me that's a stupid idea. I'm good with that too. Michael G says good idea, Adam says good idea, DB's, uh, DB40, great idea. Okay, you guys up for that? Good idea, no questions, awesome. Uh, yeah, so if you guys, and again, there's no like limit to what topic it is, okay? If you are a two finger salute specialist, folks, I don't care if I've got 10 people that are talking about two, two finger salute, awesome. Send me the video, because what I wanna do is start having that consistency and put them together. And by the way, these Excel spreadsheets, um, okay, so the way that I did that, let's, let's talk about the Excel spreadsheet real quick. So something that I want to maybe modify from that. So your hashtag idea. <laughs> This is where it gets tricky because, I mean, we can put hashtags on these so that that's the separator, but you, now you have to start to think about what's the separator, okay? Are you gonna do comma and then another one? So, you know, two Fs, okay, comma, right? What are those gonna be? You know, I'm up for this, but I feel like maybe we need to have a whole nother, you know, meeting scenario, or maybe we have, you know, a group of people one night and be like, look, anybody who wants to do this, let's join, come in on Wednesday night and let's all get together on, a, on an audio chat and talk about what we do. And yeah, it doesn't have to be on a video thing, but just, you know, get together, how are we going to organize it? How do you want to organize it? But so that somebody can come in here, hit, you know, filter and find exactly what they need. I guess my problem with this one, this method would be that then you can't use the filter in Excel. All right. So if you're hitting this, I hit data and I want to hit the filters on each of the columns. Um, I wouldn't be able to easily filter on like just double dots if I did multi row. In fact, this is a big database. No, no. Right. <laughs> Curtis, are you in the mic now? Are you with us? Uh, I'm not sure if he's still there, uh, but you know, any data person will cringe. Um, if you're breaking basic atomicity um, by having multiple fields of data in a single field, that is a <laughs> big database person, no, no. So all you data people don't cringe. And yes, I'm a data person, so it, it makes me freak out to do that. So I would rather not do that. But again, at this point, whatever is the, we're looking for a KISS theory method here, folks. I am looking for, keep it simple, stupid. I am looking for Occam's razor. We, we know what the solution is. We want to be able to search and find all the URLs where that topic is mentioned, right? Not just the primary, okay? Because yeah, everybody can find the two finger salute video. All right, but what about all the other videos where I'm literally like scrolling up here and I'm like, okay, so today so-and-so crushed it. Oh, look at this awesome two finger salute he took. He's got a screenshot here and he took it. It was noon, it was 12 o'clock, so great scenario. And I'm walking through the whole thing. 
you know, that specific scenario, okay, so here's one, I don't know what the straight was, it looks like a single green dot, long, long's favorable, green dot at a level, you know, whatever I had talked through in that video, all of those add to a person's um, bank of time that they've spent. Again, you can either learn from your time or you can learn from someone else's time, right? And how cool is it if you can kick back on your couch, <laughs> right? And learn it without you being at the desk touching it. So again, what, what I'm wanting to do is create the most ultimate, amazing freaking trading group in the world, right? My goal is to be number one in the world, folks. I will just tell you right up front what <laughs> my ego is telling me what I want us to do is I want us to be the absolute best. And so people who call me a narcissist and all the other kind of crap, well, there you go. I must be a narcissist because I'm competitive and I want to be the best. Troll away, my friends. Um, why not be the best? If you can do it, go all the way. Uh, I'll give you a biblical passage. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. All right, not do it with thy weakness. So that's my point. All right, um, on to another one. So I think those are, that's where we want to go. Okay, um, yeah, those are good. Okay, so next questions, we'll make sure we're covering them all. Same language. I know some others. Okay. Lines of Trends Reverse got that one. Uh, what's your thoughts on? Uh, Should have made it. I'm going to open two windows here for this so I don't have to do that again. Let's see. All right. The launching. The trap. Okay. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Trap video. Okay, here we go. Um, in some of the old mentorship videos, it mentions having some smaller groups of people. In a sort of cohort of people in similar stages at their algo box training um i don't remember where i talked about that but i might have been talking about that in a negative connotation because what i have found is when people do that they get in these silos and they teach themselves the wrong thing okay i do not want people to do this so j5 stone i am going to make a point with this right now do not do this do not get in siloed groups where you're looking for feedback from each other this is what happens when you have blind leading the blind this is what happens when you've got people like, oh, we're here to share ideas. And what I think is, listen, get it from the horse's mouth. Okay, I'm here. I would rather you, I want you to hear it from me. Now, if somebody is repeating saying, well, what Vinny says is, then awesome. Okay, but this is like, you know, from a biblical perspective, this is like these pastors and preachers who get out there and they start preaching from the pulpit, but they ain't reading the word of God themselves. All right. If they ain't saying, well, Jesus said, burp, 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 or God said this, and they're just up there babbling, talking about their, well, what they think about and what they felt about this Sunday. You know, they were rolling around in the grass last night, and they saw something in the clouds, so therefore, you know, that must mean that they're supposed to go to dinner at the chicken house tonight. No, don't. We're not doing that, all right? You get it straight from the horse's mouth. If I said it, awesome. If somebody else is saying it, question everything, all right? And that's with the best of intention people. You know, I've had people in here who, you know, they really seem to know what they're talking about, but they have sent people on just complete lost, you know, lost scenarios of things and got them and pointed in the wrong direction. So uh, enough on that. Uh, do not silo yourselves. Stay away from private messages, okay? I don't want you guys doing private messages. It just causes all kinds of problems. Um, can you guys still hear me? I hear things popping in and out. Lost the audio? Oh, okay. How about, uh, that's because I hit that duplicate thing. How about now? Can you guys hear me now? Yes, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. That was when I duplicated the uh, window there. I didn't think about that happening. Um, okay, so just real quick rehash on that. Do not get into siloed groups. Do not do that. I'm telling you right now, I have seen, look, there have been people that really thought they knew what they were talking about and they get together and they get in these groups and, and y'all, all of a sudden, I find out later, hey, these guys are struggling. I go find out, I'm like, well, why are y'all doing that? Why, why, okay, that's not what I taught. Why are you not saying, so my point was this. If you hear somebody say, well, Vinny says, blah, 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 blah. Great, and by the way, I'm gonna check because I see it written out in public. That way I can double check, okay? Don't have these private conversations. Don't be sitting there and having private message conversations with people, asking them questions about that. If, if, look, bring it to public rooms. I've got plenty of public space for people to have chats. If you're in premium members, you can say it in the premium chat areas. We've got the public space. If you wanna have other chat rooms that we wanna open up, particularly on topics, that's fine. But I do encourage you, stay out of private messages. If someone is private messaging you, I would actually rather you guys go ahead Tell me that they're doing it. I will address them personally. You know, don't feel like you're tattling on them, but I'm telling you right now, I'm going to reiterate this more as we go into this year because these are the, where the majority of all the problems and headaches have come is when people start siloing and having these little conversations off on the side and they don't know what's actually happening. And they don't want to come and have the conversation with me. Um, how many of you, with a show of hands or type in the room here, or you know what, come on the audio mic. I would like somebody that would um, 
speak to the crew here on somebody that I have had a phone conversation with who, in so many words, I have changed your life. I have literally, like, you, you get to a point where you weren't able to do it, and all of a sudden, one phone call from me, you got on with me, and I know there's many of you guys who, in that moment, I literally show you exactly what was going on, what you're doing, I give you the right way and the right path of how to go and do it, and everything changed. But it was all because you had a phone call with me, which I encourage. But what's interesting is what I end up seeing people do is they get together with other people, and like, hey, well, you know, what you? and it's a vicious spiral. But I promise you, you have a conversation with me I don't waste time. If you have a conversation with me, I will change your life. It is my goal every time I get on a phone call with somebody to, I'm not just here to just hang out and be friends and high five. I have a goal and I'm gonna get you somewhere. So anybody wanna speak to that notion um, to encourage anybody else who is thinking, oh, I'll ask somebody else, but I'm telling you, come to me. <laughs> Steve, Steve's laughing, I know he's, I think Steve would raise his hand on that one. Uh, uh, that's it. Yeah, you know, send them to me, right? Be like, hey, go talk to Vinny on that. Uh, Curtis, yeah, you know, Curtis early in his career. You know, Curtis has been me for, how long have you been with me, Curtis? We had five years now. Pretty much. Five years and still going strong. Yeah, pretty much from the beginning. I mean, you, I think uh, I punched Go Live in January 2016. And I think you might have showed up was like maybe March, maybe, maybe two months into being out there yep. live. Yep, two months. So pretty much from the beginning of public, anyhow, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, we had those conversations. Let's see, I'm trying to remember our first one of the change. You had a question on, let me see if I can think. It was either two finger or wham. Can you remember what the first, like the one question of what you had? It was actually when we started working or when you started working on defining when to take a two finger when it is approaching the ropes. Was it the two finger reversal? I thought so, yeah, because it was like you were taking every, yeah, it was the two finger scenarios and what I was like trying to reiterate was that the two finger salute is, requires the arm, but we started to see that, you know, if we could find it near the ropes, it's actually awesome to literally reverse that whole thing. Yeah, I thought, hey, all right, we had, I, my memory wasn't too far off, but listen, I tried to remember everybody, you know, personally, right? I try to have that personal conversation with you guys, personal relationship, know where you are, know what you do. I know you buy your strategy. I know what you're, uh, at least at that time, you, know, you develop over time. Like, I don't think Curtis's uh, main strategy is two finger salute anymore, <laughs> is it? Well, what's your what's your primary go-to these days, CG? You, uh, you you can pretty much trade anything, I know, but what do you? what's your favorite these days? Um, actually, my favorite nowadays is anything that has to do with the cross. Yeah, so, baby. I mean, dude, is that not OP? Dude, the crosses are so OP, y'all. Like, you can close your eyes and come in here and sit down. If they're, oh, just, it's so true. It's, it's yeah, Steve. <laughs> Steve's, uh, Steve's oh, so OP on him. He's drawing colors on him and deciding what he's going to do ahead of time. He knows. Um, let's see. So who else out uh, here? Private message record. Uh, Derek said, first call, signing up for Gold Plus. Told me to trade in the direction of the MACV. Wait for eight. Look for PRZ. Instantly started trading better. Yep. Actually, my two-week free trial. <laughs> awesome, Rick. Um, I think I talked with KC. Is KC on the mic? I see KC's over there. We had a KC. We had a chat with him. He actually, uh, KC. I'm gonna pick on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with them our uh, our private message there. Um, he literally wrote me and said, uh, reminding me that I should trade like a video game was so helpful. All I need to do is win. My trading was seriously improved since our chat. Right there. It's awesome, awesome right there. Yo, listen. All I'm gonna say is this. Call me. Okay. Schedule a call with me. I know you think, well, I don't want to bother him. Whatever. Listen. It's what I do. Okay? And in fact, I enjoy those calls. This is not a burden to me. Okay, y'all. I enjoy the conversation with you guys from all around the world. Knowing and feeling the ability to change lives is my whole goal in life, right? You know, finances, that's that's done and taken care of, right? I've told you guys, you know, everybody knows fortune and fame go together, right? Fortune I have. Fame, what do I want to be famous for? I want to be famous for creating the most amazing trade room, the most amazing trade software, the most amazing community, and just being able to crush it in the most direct way to allow ourselves time when, and time is the most precious thing we have. We do not have that much time here as it is on our planet. May as well spend it doing the things that we want and love to do and not being afraid to speak your mind. Because I'll tell you some of the problems with our world right now is that, you know, we can't say what we want to say for fear of losing your job. Right? I mean, everybody in here probably has that issue right now. Like, you probably don't, you don't want to, you want to stay off of social media because your boss man, like, you know, heaven forbid you support Trump. Okay. And all of a sudden you're a racist and you're, you know, a misogynist and everything else. The, the amount of ridiculousness. So you can't say anything. 
Well, guess what happens when you've got control of your entire finances? <laughs> now you can go around and speak like an idiot like me and just, just speak your mind without fear of anybody. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to fire me? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Until somebody comes and unplugs my internet connection. Um, yeah, good luck. So freedom, folks. I want you guys to have freedom. And I will, I will try to do anything I can to get you there. And I, I have a lot of set. I got, a, I got some tricks. Okay, I got some tricks up my sleeve that aren't even in videos and things sometimes because some things are, things are very specific to individuals. Um, but I can, I can take you from zero to hero if you just give me a chance. I'll prove it. Um, challenge me on it. See if I don't. Uh, so you can talk off the giant. Uh, it's not eight, just not sunny. Okay. Super questions. Okay, so no super question. But here is one. Is there a video feed going right now, or is this audio only? <laughs> uh, it's audio only. Audio only right now. I'm recording it, so I will release it later. And I am doing a little, a few drawings here and there, and showing the Excel spreadsheet, etc. Um, so for the people that didn't catch it tonight. Um, okay, other. Topical items there. Of course, I just did the exact thing I told myself I didn't want to do. I have to scroll back and find okay hashtag function J hook. Uh, I can rest the stream later. Okay, maybe a database or an app with a search bar. Okay, so here's what I don't want to do. I know we can solve the problem this way. Derek the Rick is saying you know database and an app and a search bar. Okay, look, I also want freedom of my time. <laughs> okay, I love you guys, but I got three kids. I got one over here. Mikey, what are you playing? What you playing? Fortnite? Are you winning? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> we got. I got three kids now. Back when you guys saw me five years ago, you know, I had I had one at the time, and uh, you know, we're three in now. So, time is important. I don't have time to build out tools and stuff like this. And you know, Thanks. Curtis doesn't want to spend his time doing these types of things. When what we want to do is focus on all of my skills and all of my talents. I want to put into the trading tools themselves not the tools necessarily around it. Um, I would, I will tell you that I would like to have in the future to have a mobile app um, for a couple of things. Um, one is to track the amount of time you spend in market replay. And so you can kind of track it over time and to actually have all of my VO list in a full thing where you can check off when you're done with them and whatnot. I think that would be kind of cool, but it's a wish list um, thing. But you know, there's, there, <laughs> we're a ways from that because I got to get Ninja Trader 8 done, right? Once Ninja Trader 8, is solid and stable and it's out there. I would still rather put my time then into the full auto components, right? Now I want to, some of the new stuff we've got, I don't have any full auto nothing on our crosses. And hello, are the crosses not the most amazing things we've got so far? Uh, yeah. So I want to build out some full auto tools on the crosses, um, headshots, come on. I mean, that's free money. Um, why would I not want to turn that on? So, you know, stuff like that that's coming, I'm gonna focus my time and attention there. So what I would like you guys to do is, is I'm focusing the time and attention on the tools and crushing it with the tools. If you guys can help build out things around it, like what we're talking about here tonight. So, you know, that's a windy way of saying, help us out with the search stuff. Um, if you guys have other items, if you control F made it easier. Yeah, see, so Yang is talking about the control F, just find. Um, Yang says, my notes are sloppy, but I got every video I've watched so far stamped on what's covered. What? Uh, okay, what did she do it in? Uh, where's Yengi's thing? Yengi, are you in here? I think she said she had to go. Um, hold up, hold up. Let me scroll back up. What was she saying she did it in? Video 17. Okay, there, yeah, there's an example. Wow, so there's a big one. So Desto, you know, he's got all these. But even this, this is kind of hard to get to, right? Like, this is great once you're at the video, but I need the step in front of this, how to get to the video so that they can find this right and even that it's still a little bit tricky so solving the search problem folks that is a question that i'm posting out to the room hopefully you guys can help me solve that uh notes help and i know matt is uh matt is doing a set of notes on this stuff and i really think that is going to be helpful for control f um, to be able to just find in things and okay matt what did he put here a screenshot uh desto would you be willing to tackle the notes section with me for the rest of the group okay yeah so matt's working on that yeah and i know you know matt is uh you know he he does training stuff kind of professionally at the university level um so you know definitely want to use his expertise around some of that but like i said any of you guys who want to create your own videos and walk through stuff like even small stuff right we need some little short videos on like i don't know how to change your audio settings right like okay here's how i like to go on the audio settings and you know, change every one of them, which is good, right? For per instrument type of thing, you know, a video on that. Save me the opportunity to do that. You guys create that video and then your link is down there and if somebody signs up through that video link, you know, that's, that's um, 
you know, free referral on you. You get to help teach out and, you know, just I hopefully it creates a synergy with us and I'm looking forward to some of that. Uh, Yingyi said she took a lot of notes. She didn't say what it was. Did anybody see what Yingyi said she took notes in? Was it Word? Was it Excel? Uh, it's too long for posting raw as comment. Best to make an index. Uh, what does he mean by an index? <laughs> it's one of those broad terms. I'm not sure what you mean by desto, desto index. Um, if you're in here, if you can tell me what you mean by index on that. Give me an example. Got the 150 pages of notes now. Wow. Okay, I'm assuming this is like um, probably Word. But screenshots, you know, take up a lot of space. So, but 150 pages, that's awesome. Uh, I can buy you to the OneNote. It's a good way to consolidate. Okay, yeah. So, Matt, you're using OneNote. Okay, I was talking about that earlier. I wasn't sure what you were using. And I wanted to make sure it was the OneNote thing. Excellent. Talk about I've got every video I've watched so far stamped on what's covered. So I'd like to see what that is, what she did to stamp on. Uh, use Excel to, okay. Desto said the Excel is for the index. Now to index by topic. Okay, yeah, I'd like to see some of these. If anybody wants to share the, at least what you've currently got to the room, drop the file in here and let's take a peek so I can get a kind of an idea and, and make sure we're in the right direction. Um, which I'm sure we are, I'm not, I'm not too concerned with that. Build out each strategy and compartmentalize as we go. Um, yep, once I receive permission, direct message you for email address. Uh, yeah, Matt, go ahead. I'll kind of talk about that. Let's go ahead and um, do that. I'd, I'd prefer to create a separate room for that. What should we call the room? Um, somebody tossed me out a room name idea on the left for talking about what do we want to call this problem? This is the search guide, the Algobox search guide. Curtis, can you create um, an Algobox search guide room on the left in premium? Um, I only want that accessible to the premium members. Curtis, are you there? I'll make sure you can hear me. You might have had to go. Yep, working on now. Oh, great. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so let's use that. That way you're not having to email. I hate email stuff back and forth, and that way I can peek in and see how things are going. Um, let's keep it all in Discord. So Curtis is going to create that room there for us. Um, for the Algobox search guide. All right, uh, once I receive permission for perfect, okay. Yeah, so an idea crossed my mind about market replay. Ooh, all right. Everyone from the team recording videos, sets of nine minute, ooh, I like this idea. Nine minute market replay, 90 minute sessions by 10X speed. Let me think about that. Okay, a 90 minute session, but consolidated at 10X down to nine minutes. I love this idea, holy shnikes. <clears throat> I'm writing this one down. Great idea, Desto. Because that, you can execute it yourself or you can watch somebody else execute. It's almost as good. Now, look, you've got to get the mechanics down. Folks, I have told you, I cannot transfer my mechanics to you. I cannot, you know, transfer my ability to use the, the mouse and the tag movement and all that. You've got to get that down. But what Desto is saying right there, being able to watch someone else's trades, folks, it's extremely powerful um, to be able to watch a trade from end to end. Like, even me, when I've gone back and watched my own trades, like reminding myself, I can see that trade going through my head again because those folks, things repeat, <laughs> all right? The, the same patterns, the same setups repeat. I mean, the J-hooks, I'll tell you, that's why the J-hook came to be. It's why the J-hook is so powerful is I've seen it happen so many times. Like I can look at it and tell what's happening almost. It's like seeing the matrix. The first little thing is the J-hook, but whether or not that J-hook is going to continue or it's going to fail, I've got those little things in there and the advanced J-hook that I try to explain as much as you can. But there are scenarios like what happens when you have two J-hooks back to back? Pop quiz time. Curtis, if you get a long J-hook followed by a short J-hook, which one do you take? That's a tough one. Anybody know that one? You have a long J hook followed immediately by a short J hook and they are right on each other. Which one do you take? Long or short? We got people saying short. Yep, Steve nailed it with the recency is key. We've got a rule that says recency is key. The most recent matters, real simple, right? Perfect. But it's things like that that kind of can be a little bit tricky until you've actually seen one happen. Like I can tell you that rule. All right, I can tell you what happens if you get a long J hook followed by a short J hook. Yeah, I can tell you, take the short one here. Recency is key. But until you see it, I'm telling you, it's different when you're seeing it in real time. Um, so things like that, right? It's just an example. Um, everyone from the team recording at nine minute sessions. Yeah, no trading, just the sessions, morning and afternoon, other later perhaps, and posting it to a dedicated YouTube channel playlist. Yep, fantastic. Um, we coordinate each session per person and build a library of market replay sessions. That would be awesome. Um, so everyone can benefit market replay anywhere, anytime from YouTube. Maybe everyone specialized on a type of day. I love these ideas and plans. Um, yeah, totally, 
totally dig that. And um, I'll, I'll say something else. There has been some, there's pluses and minuses to being watched, okay? Um, now, market replay, it's different because at least there's not actual money on the line. I can say that for me, it's mostly negative when I am teaching while I'm trading live. You know, I did that for, you know, three years, my first three years, I was actually out there doing it. But the amount of pressure, the amount of trolling, the amount of constant, like you're constantly worrying about what everybody else is thinking is both positive and negative. It also, because when you know that you're going to be watched, it's like having a manager over your shoulder where you're going to do everything perfectly, right? Like, oh, uh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Today, sir. I'm I am very, very busy person today, sir. Yes, I am keeping, I am coding all day long. Now the boss man is out of the room. I'm over here, you know, eating eating Apple Jacks, you know, listening to songs, music, beating on my uh, desk for a while. And then I'm like, oh, I gotta get some code done today. You know, it's every coder's uh, copy pasta. Um, everybody knows how we do it, but nobody wants to admit to it. Nobody's coding for eight hours a day. I mean, you can't do that. Your, your eyeballs will fall out. So, uh, no trading, but so that being said is if you have that extra pressure that somebody's watching, you actually do it better. So with trading, knowing that you're going to be trading for 60 to 90 minutes and it's not like coding because you're actually, you're actually thinking through everything. It's massive decision fatigue while you are watching, um, trade setups and executing on them and going through the highs and lows of wins and stop outs or closures. Um, there's a lot going on there and you know, and when I'm teaching it, so I'm also slowing down my, my, my own brain cycles because I'm having to speak. Do, do you guys know that speech is like one of the slowest forms of communication on the planet? You know, I saw Elon Musk's thing. I saw that thing you can put in your head and they're going to like literally be able to instantaneously transfer information from one brain to the other. And he was like, yeah, speech is actually very slow communication. Your brain has to process what you're actually going to say and you have to put it through words. And it has to be processed on the other side. Speech communication is so difficult. So I'm sitting there trying to do everything I need to do while I'm trading and then speaking to it and training it and whatnot. So I am saying that as we go forward, I will be committing to doing more live trade sessions with my live stuff, but I'm not going to do it every day again. Like I know that that's a mistake. I'm not going to not going to do that. Put that pressure level on myself. And now I've got you know three kids, families, all this sort of kind of stuff. Back in when I was single, pff, whatever. If, I, if I'm blowing money, no big deal, right? Uh, now different stages of life, right? Different stages, different times, and. I'm not putting up with trolls the way that I used to, okay? I'm uh, Y'all have seen me in my darkest of days. Steve can attest to the fact, I think Steve just about had enough of me um, when I had reached the point, like, you know, I, I learned valuable lessons about people <laughs> um, the five years I've been out here in public. Um, I used to be a real nice guy. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but my uh, my first sets of videos, anybody who's been with me for five years plus, any of those guys in the Founders Club could probably say, you know, Vinny used to be a real nice guy. <laughs> I think, I think they might say that. Um, Curtis, I don't know. Have I changed? Not changed? I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. Cut the hair. <laughs> I'm exactly the same as I was five years ago. No change. <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, somebody asked, somebody said the other day they thought that I had put on a, like, my hat was a fake wig or something. So I'm taking off my hat right now and showing it in the video. This is, no, that's full on legit, folks. That's That's my hair. Yeah. So the hat just happens to pull it back and keep it out of the way all right there we go all right so it's all that somebody was like oh yeah look he's putting on a hat wig and i'm like what? no it's not what's going on like people do troll me so hard i can't even whatever and i gotta get a thicker skin right i know i've heard it a million times like, what are you doing? yeah i'm trying i'm trying but what i'm not gonna do i'm just not gonna expose it and then, i don't care if they talk about me but when they started dealing with my family my kids and you know going after like even my external family members and stuff it's just you know it's just wackos man psychopaths on the interwebs uh, no trade just stats. Okay, posting today. Yep, yep, like that. Uh, for everyone who benefited the marketplace player, you can talk to you. Maybe we specialize on type of day. Okay, next one. Maybe database. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Talk about that. Rest of the stream. Okay, no one note. Yeah, I like the one note idea, but I'm not familiar with it. I'll be honest. Um, it sounds great. So, if one note is a solution, I'm totally down for it. If you guys picked that, awesome. Uh, J hook, J dash hook, J space hook. We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, maybe we can tokenize it to do all of them, but then you're dealing with searches that are hard. I think basically somebody's probably just going to get smart and just type in hook, right? Um, just uh, you got to standardize MySQL. Ugh. Speaking about you know beating the dolphin, I'll uh, I'll pass. Uh, MySQL, by the way, the their, uh, the thing is a dolphin. In case anybody was wondering what the reference was. Um, semi forced search terms. Yeah, semi forced. Uh, next one, one note allows for searching tags or any content. Okay, tags. Hmm, tags, tags, tags. Okay, so it's got a tagging thing. I got you, so kind of like the hashtag deal, that's good. So keywords, tags, yeah, actually I think that's really cool. Excel would not let you do that. So if OneNote has that, maybe that is the 
you know, the best solution there, um, tagging each one of them. And if something was missing a tag, somebody could add it. Um, yeah, I think that, that could be cool. Um, can we lock it so trolls don't make, yeah, see, <laughs> you definitely need, that's why I want to keep it inside that group, right? Like whatever group is inside of there, it needs to be premium members only and in people who want to join in that group, we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You got to think about these outside sources that are constantly like doing terrible crap to you. They want to go and update the data, uh, access. So that's that thing. Let's go forward. What else? Any other questions? Coordinate, and distribute the work, two to three videos per week per session, a time and code and comment. Or easiest, fastest, semi-automated with the open transcript. Yeah, you know, more is more on that. Um, I can't, I don't see any negative drawback there to um, market replay, unless somebody's doing it wrong, you know, so you gotta be careful of that. Like, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I, I'm not gonna worry about it if, you know, maybe other people, like if somebody does it wrong, you have the opportunity to help correct them too. So I, I'll give that, but just be careful. Like if, if somebody sees a video, oftentimes they might think, oh, well now I've learned it from that video. So. I will say that I will probably, again, I would prefer to filter them, but hey, if we're gonna throw them all out there and then I'm using that as a basket of things to pull in and do videos on, uh, I think that's a great idea. And it gives me an opportunity to see what you're doing too. So if they're, if I see a struggle or it's like, oh, I see what they're doing, they're doing this wrong, um, you know, I can give that feedback to you right away. So that um, that's a good idea. Okay, we are right at about an hour here um, tonight. So we'll try to, let me see if there's any other specific things we're going to, it's a good idea, no questions. Um, yeah, record the timestamps for keywords. Yeah, we definitely can do that on the YouTube thing, but back to the solving the problem before it, I think we understand that now. You could assign, for example, 20 of us to a few videos each. Think about this, Derek's saying, assign, for example, 20 of us to a few videos each. 20 on five videos, okay, I'm not following that, but let me think through that, Derek. Or, or Derek, are you on the mic? Can you explain um, what you're talking about in that? There. Oh, he had to go. He's not in here. Um, but he dropped this. Twenty of you. Somebody. Does anybody know what he's saying on that? We could timestamp and keyword the things mentioned in the video for you. Then send our notes. So how would it work with crossover? I guess. Like he five was people. Divide and conquer. Like if each one of us had one video to do the same thing, we'd finish it faster that way. Okay. Yeah. I. I, I think I understand that part. But how does he? The issue is consistency. We probably wouldn't all do it the same way. Yeah. The yeah. Downside. Format. But if twenty. For each each video, I don't understand why he wants to do multiples per. It's more like uh, 20 people who want to do it, but I'm giving five to one guy, five to another guy, five to another guy, five to another guy. I think maybe that's what he actually means on that kind of thing. Right? So, you know, it's an individual D show. Um, but if we are keeping it as simple as, look, all I want is a URL. I don't want your notes. I really like, let people take their own notes, okay? But I think that if it has the, the topic word, right? Or what we call, I guess we'll call them keywords. Um, what was one night one note has a different name for it. It was um, a tag So tags throw the tag, you know that that's hard to mess up, right? If you call it J hook or J space hook It really doesn't matter as long as the tags are there. That's hard to mess up. You guys agree with that Like it's kind of hard to mess up. I don't care about the formatting on that because it's literally URL tag I can't really see a way to mess that up Y'all agree? Uh, let's see next one Uh, and again, tags, uh, plural. I mean, it would be every tag that you can think of that you saw in the video. Like, oh, you talked about this, you talked about that, you talked about that. Now, along the way, you need to be taking your own notes, but tags, tag-wise, you need that video needs to be identified of, he talked about these 20 things in there and the actual tags themselves. Again, with all the videos and playlists inside the lesson library in order. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Derek. Um, yeah, I mean, I really do want to start there, but then... Um, we should pro we should progress through the others and as a new video comes out right so new video comes out that needs to be I'll just use the term cataloged right so URL and then topics like maybe somebody can assign it be like okay I'll take tonight's video right maybe I'll ask for a volunteer at the end of a video and I don't know give some kind of incentive to it um, how would we do that yeah, we'll figure it out we'll figure that out um, you know, even if it's the invite link thing something like that uh, we can put in the description uh, lost audio, okay, got the audio back. Okay, we're pretty close to wrapping it up. Talked about a video, but uh, not to bring your friends in. Yeah, that, that becomes problematic for many reasons. Um, you know, I've seen two guys literally bury themselves. I, um, I'll go ahead and name names because they're not here with us anymore. Um, what was the guy's name? And, and they're usually always somebody who they came from another group. Um, 
Like they were already to learn from some like uh, Back to the Future's room type of scenario. I think Steve was in that room. Um, but these guys were in some other. I can't remember which one now. But it was uh, one guy out of California and his friend from Nevada. But they had been these others. They saw our stuff and they started trading the Mac V. And it was like they were only trading the Mac V. They're like, oh no, this is what we're gonna do. We're doing this thing. And like they were on Skype. This is actually back in the day. Anybody remember? How many of you guys were here with me when we were back in Skype? Anybody? Uh, all of our Founders Club members. Before we were on Discord, we used to all use Skype, but they were creating their own little Skype group off on the side. And so rather than being in the live trade session with us, they're over there like talking themselves through stuff. And, you know, I, I, I heard there was a, you know, they basically blow up, but then they blame me. <laughs> and I'm like, wait. So I try to talk to them and say, okay, so what were you doing? I'm like, okay, wait, just, you don't enter on every eight bar. You can't just enter in on the eight bar. That's not, that's not how it worked. Like you've got to tie, you know, this is that whole thing I was saying earlier. I'm worried about people taking one video out of context not taking everything into account and it's like okay so it's a market day that's going 45 degree angle up right how many times is the short going to work zero <laughs> okay and they're still trying to trade the mac v short when the eighth bar shows up they're like oh well you said mac v on the eighth bar you go short well that's what i was doing i was just i lost all day that day and lost my whole account i'm like well was i doing that well i don't know i wasn't watching like well, what were you doing i was over in skype talking to johnny oh yeah well did Johnny help you? No, I didn't think so. But y'all had fun, I bet. All right, sorry. That's my that's my take on that. Uh, your private message to keep a record notes from people who have ideas. That's dumb. Okay, right here, Antoine or Anton. Don't do that. I talked to you on the phone the other day. Listen, man. I talked to you a lot. Listen to what I told you. And no, that's not good. If you're taking notes from other people and getting people's ideas, look. What ideas? What what? Who in here can beat me? Raise your hand if you think you want to go on with me. Competition, let's go. Same size account. Who can beat me in trading? If you can, raise your hand so I can hand the whole group over to you because I'm done making videos. <laughs> okay? No, there are no, you're, you should not be, don't like, just because the buffalo starts jumping over the sides of the hill, don't mean do it. Okay? Uh, there are probably reasons why, and most people don't. And I'm not going to, I can't explain every negative. You don't teach in negatives. You don't be like, well, here's why you don't do this. And I can tell you, well, here's why you don't do this. Um, Thomas Edison cannot teach you, he's not going to teach you the 10,000 ways he discovered not to create a light bulb, okay? He's going to teach you the one or the two ways that the filament inside of the vacuum bulb worked the best, right? Now, somebody came in after him and improved the bottom piece of it, right? You can improve on it, fine. But, you know, I can't explain all the negatives. I guess that's my answer to all that. Um, we're only going to focus on plus, and don't worry. There are 10,000 reasons why you don't do what you're doing, I promise. There are reasons. If there were, I would probably have figured it out, I promise. I have spent a lot of time. Now... If it's new, I want to say something to this. If it's new, right? Like, I'll give an example. Um, Simon has been with us for a long time, and he did all the work. Go back and look at how much work Simon put in to training and trading and all the screenshots he used to post and whatnot. He's, he's doing a little bit less now because he's in live scenario now. But he did all the work, all this stuff. So he knew the system. He knows exactly how I do it, and he discovered what? Anybody know what uh, what? Uh, strategy that I can I completely attribute to uh, Simon himself. The Plover. Yeah, I hate the name, but <laughs> he came. The Plover, the weirdest bird, and apparently it's called the Plover, which even makes me even more angry. I hate it, but whatever. You know, he he found that strategy, and what did it come out of? It came out of a new tool that we created, which was the Crosses. The Crosses came in just this year, right? So that's a scenario where, hey, maybe, hey, Vinny, have you considered this one? All right, like Steve. Steve started going. He enhanced the horizontal line thing that we were doing at the double cross on the lower level. And he's like, hey, I noticed that if we draw the colored line on the threes and on the, I, I added back to the fives, but just at the three level, that is, you know, that is not changing everything we're doing, but enhancing what we're doing. Awesome, right? So that's where I'm going with that. Be careful of the other ideas though. Just because somebody has an idea and it's working in the current market condition, okay? Cause that's the problem. People are like, oh man, I see a trend, right? One day, you know, what's that? Just oh, all that happened, all those crosses? Uh, it's a candy bar singles. All right, so be careful of that one, but what should you draw there? All right, Hamacho, now show us how to draw the horizontal lines. Take a new screenshot, so I'm already critiquing you. What should you do with those crosses? Take another screenshot when you've got it done. <laughs> Post it again. See, but this is what's great. When somebody posts a screenshot, now we can give good critical feedback. Now, something else I want to point out that he's showing here. We'll do a learning lesson here tonight. You see the algal matrix? So far left is red middle solid green this is going red did you know that if this far right if it turns green you can actually take an entry off of that 
you can take an entry long right there if this right side which will turn green first because you're green boom this has gone red boom when it flips back to green boop that can be a point of entry all right <laughs> oh casey oh we got some uh what is that 18 only verify your age eesh is that non-trading related i don't even want to know um all right let me make sure we cover the rest and then we will uh wrap it up and i'm looking forward to taking taking this forward using the hands on that okay um first foreign call ever i signed up with gold plus okay that's the stuff when we we're talking about changing one call with me um i want to change things okay is there a video on moving to a live account oh that's a good one um video on moving to a live account That is a good one. Now, normally, so that is per person, typically. So in, make sure as you are scheduling your calls. I expect that everybody makes your call before you go live, and we talk about your scenario. So that is that would be, it's a little bit of a tougher video, but I will, that's one where I can go different types of scenarios, right? There are people who have started in micros. There are people who start directly into e-minis. There are different risk levels. There are account growth. Again, my standard is to go 2,500, 5K, 8K, um, and move push forward from there. But that's, uh, that's a good one. Um, Got that one on the list. Great one there, DB40. As you said, your calls are, and your calls are like 40 minutes a piece. Uh, they're probably longer than that. Anybody in here been on a phone call with me less than 40 minutes? I doubt it. Anybody, anybody less than two hours? <laughs> um, automatic horizontal lines on Algobar 3s. Oh, that's a good idea. Let me think about that. That's a that's an easy enhancement. Other lines on threes. With color. Good idea, Mike. First call was HH on a Friday night. We shared a virtual beer. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, full auto headshots. Yep. We definitely want to do that. It's on my list. Full auto HMD. Yep, it's on the list. 150 page of notes, probably Word. Yeah, uh, Google Sheets, based index, I think it'll be good. Channel created, thanks CG. Minimum time for reaction requiring. Let's see, what's CG say here? The minimum time for a reaction requiring speech reception in the order of, oh yeah, he's talking about how slow it is to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be scary if you knew what I thought. <laughs> yeah, if you could hear what I really thought before it came out of my mouth, oh yeah. Imagine all the stuff comes out of my mouth and that's filtered. Just one 90 minute live stream of you trading a week would be plenty. Okay, yeah, DB40. Okay, so that's a good one. All right, so I am wanting to commit to that now. What I would be doing, so I would probably come over to my old system because I cannot stream 4K. I have, dude, I have tried every way um, that I could think like live streaming with 4K, just either it's massive delays, there's problems with hardware wise. I'm sure maybe in the future that's more possible, but it's just not. So I would dedicate. Um, you know, give up one session per week. I don't want to say give up. I mean, I don't want it to sound like you know, I'm not going to do as well, but I mean, I know, I, you know I can do much better if I'm just, I don't have any pressure of thinking what people are going to care. I mean, there's going to be times, y'all, look, I, I throw down, right? Now, our system is so awesome. So there's a video out there by somebody else. I'm trying to remember what group it was. I think it was entitled like, oh, it was a chat with traders video. If you're going to trade, you may as well trade size. I still remember the title of that video, and I was like, that was, that's interesting. Yeah, the guy was like, well... If you know you're going to take that when you know you're gonna, like you may as well trade size. What's the point? Like why if I can make $100, why would I not want to try to make $1,000, right? If I want to make $1,000, why not try to make $5,000? Follow me. And now with the market at the VIX level that it's currently at, again, I wouldn't encourage anybody to do what I'm doing now where I'm just like I am pushing it, but I'm in and out and I'm spending more time with my family, but you know, I'll come in and I'll push hard on three three trades and I'm done. Like I'll crush it and just I'll wait till everything's perfect. I'll listen for the audio. The audio now is totally OP. Anybody like anybody practiced that or just like felt and this sat out not doing anything and then just waited for the audio to get crazy where it's like and you just go over there and smash the button. Who wants to admit to that one? Okay. I'm admitting right now. It's awesome. Just say I'm just saying. Uh I've definitely got quick rides on the on the drill train yeah the drill train <laughs> we need to come up with some good names i like that one the drill train <laughs> oh man yeah why not um scared up 
but I would get trolled so hard for that. I feel like like you'd be like, "Well, that's not part of his plan." Yeah, no, actually, it was. I'm gonna sit around and wait till I hear aggressive buying or selling on the tape, and I'm gonna come press the button. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, you've matured like a fine wine. Yeah, Steve, you're so kind. Steve, Steve's still a nice guy. He's obviously not been trolled hard enough. <laughs> um, no skill. <laughs> yeah. You know, you recommended to have public streams for members. Uh, there's Mark Replay, live Discord. Okay, I want to talk about this. So if anybody gets these ideas, okay, so the folks who are interested in doing live streams. Uh, where's Davamite? Is Davamite in here tonight? Um, I think it's like probably 3 a.m. Australian time, so he's probably not up right now. Uh, so the Australian folks, uh, Davamite, you guys, anybody seen Davamite streams? Giving it, we're all giving a hand for Davamite. Dude, Davamite's yeah. gone out there Woo! playing video games. We appreciate him going out there and, uh, you know, doing some of that. Uh, but, you know, I've given him, you know, the warning on that, and he has, dude. One time he started telling me, he's like, dude, this one troll is, like, coming at me. He's all, like, yeah, I mean, I tried to... I will just warn you what I did not expect when I started doing this, okay? The level of trolling, and look, you gotta be, I would say, just be smart, okay? Be, put on your defenses ahead of time. Um, I actually told him, I said, look, man, don't give anybody your real name and stuff like that, because, dude, these sickos will, like... They'll they'll track your house down and stuff. They just start giving threats. They're just weird. and again, you don't know. You just don't know, right? There's just psychos out there. So I have to put that warning out there. If you're going to do that type of stuff, you know, do it some semi anonymous anonymously if possible. I would hate to put you guys in bad situations. All I'm saying is, is I would rather you really think about doing it if you're going to do it. But just keep those in mind. I will just tell you from a person who has gotten and seen just about everything now. Of course, as soon as I say that, you know, next thing you know, it'll be something even worse. But you know, I know Curtis will tell you like he's. I, I've shared with him all the stuff that's happened. It's just. Insane, y'all. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> he had to take off his shoes so he can go to the couch. Smart boy. All right. Um, recommend to have public streams. Okay. So if you want to do it, though, you know, more power to you. It's awesome, right? However, I would recommend do it market replay place. So same thing I told Dave, Dave and Davamite. Um, he did some live, and I just told him, I said, listen, there's additional pressures. I know. I've been there. I've done it. I'm doing it, right? And... I encourage him not to do it. You know, he's trading micros, so he said, oh, I'm fine because I'm trading micros. So, you know, I I will just say that you got to be careful because like something that you might do on your own, but all of a sudden you're in a live stream and you wouldn't take the trade or you talk yourself out of a trade. There are things like that at the same time. It could be good, right? It could be good pressure. Pressure can work both directions. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do a public stream. Um, anybody who's in my premium member section who has been through training, I, I give you free reign to do so. My mistake was in the past, I allowed AK, I'm sure everybody remembers old uh, Dunning-Kruger effect, retard boy who's now trying to run his own trade service and supporting Macro Hedge, which is hilarious to me, and Dr. Hanley, all these scammers, and yet he goes out there and calls the scammers hilarious. Never went through our program, but I, you know, I allowed him to go out there and create videos. He was the one who did the 100K day, by the way. Someone was asking today, so who ran the 100K day? Um, he ran the 100K day in Market Replay in a recorded video, which is awesome. I mean, I told him to practice it. I said, look, you're not gonna hit 100K day if you don't do it and practice the size. I told him you can do it with 40 contracts. That's my estimate. And sure enough, he did 40 contracts. He did exactly what I told him to do and he hit 100K day. Um, now he deleted the video and won't let anybody see it now. And he's like, nobody can use my video. You know, cause look, these jackasses, I, I've learned to trust no one, right? Curtis will tell you like, <laughs> Curtis went through hell for him and I to be friends. Like, you don't want to be friends with me. I promise. Like, I don't trust anybody. And if I'm going to trust you, I will test you to ridiculous lengths to make certain that I can actually trust you. That's just how I have to work and operate. Just because I, it's just I've just seen I've just seen I just seen too much, y'all. I have. Um, so trading on live, yeah, the YouTube stuff. It's real easy, you know, OBS live stream. Um, go for it. However, if I tell you that you can't, you know, you know, take it down. Don't make me take it down because technically I can. Um, I can push anything via copyright stuff. If you show software that's ours, you know, I can, we can do the things. Um, divide and conquer. Yeah, that would be great. And let's see. Okay, we get the second screenshot. Hamocho, what do we got? What do we got? This time you ever spent uh, three hours. What was three hours? Did I miss something? What was the three hours? I'm not sure what he's talking about what three hours was. Uh, oh, the, oh, oh, our phone call? <laughs> yeah, I think our phone call with Matt was three hours. Um, DB, best time you ever spent was on the phone call. Yeah, we, we try to have a little fun with it. Yeah, let's see, horizontal lines, good for a week. Oh, yes, so the clear out at the end of the week. Yes, those horizontal lines, we'll talk about that in the full video, but yes, you need to clear those out once a week. Just look forward to those $1,000 days. Oh, yeah, well, those $1,000 days. <laughs> Once you get to thousand dollars days, folks, then it's then you're starting to shoot for ten thousand dollar days. I'm telling you, it just it just happens. 
Um, yep, I can actually do work and not even look at the screen. Just curious if the audio box in real time or is a few seconds delay? It's real time, brother. Real time. There might be like a millisecond delay, half second delay based on Discord or if you're on wireless or something like that. But um, I've tested it where I'm literally listening to it in my room and then hearing it on the internet on my phone. And it's like, it's literally like a half second. Um, delay. So if anybody's asking about the delay on that, it's literally a half second over Discord. That's why we use it. Uh, okay, videos in the cross line. Those videos in the cross line was replay. Um, it was nothing love. Trust and verify. Um, give credit, credit to you. Yes, I don't know. You don't know of any? Oh, Homocho, you don't know what to do? All right, can anybody take um, Homocho's screenshot there? And who wants to try to correct his screenshot there? What, what should he be doing with the horizontal lines? Um, maybe he wants to print screen that, maybe draw it in. It's a little bit harder because we can't do it. Uh, I'm going to try to do it myself here, but anybody else know what he should be doing there? We've, uh, let's try to get my line tool here. And can I get a white? Uh, so I'll just use this is the old Snagit editor on my old machine here. So let's go outline white and let's try it out. All right, so double doubles right there. So I want a line right there. I want a line right here, and I want a line right here. All right now, again on a horizontal line, it's actually going to extend all the way over to the left. But you know, we're going to part here here for for demonstration purposes because we're not doing it on the actual chart. And copy all. There you go, Hamocho. All right, so those are levels of interest that you are going to want to consider as price either reapproaches those areas or it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. That could be a J hook right there, right? First thing I'm seeing right there. Yeah, so he's on the ones though, Steve. So I want to point this out. Anybody who's going to be using that strategy, I'm telling you, on the ones, that color should absolutely not matter. Now, I know you've kind of got your theory on it. And if you find a consistent pattern and you can show me that in multiple market conditions, not just high VIX, not just low VIX, if you show me something that's consistent across all, um, you know, I can be convinced. But I will tell you from what I currently know in my current experience is that those volume colors down there, cannot be used not in the current now in the future maybe if that's what you're going to try to do i've never really kind of tested that theory out um it's plausible and for sure at the higher levels but on these lower levels um they, we are looking at accumulation spots um at the lower time frames it's just accumulation so buyer seller somebody's exchanging somebody's punching that sell button and they're getting absorbed and somebody wants to buy um, in fact you can get a whole bunch of sell in that area but it's literally punching in and punching stop levels. So a stop will be, I mean, that's not actual volume, that's stop volume hitting. And if it sells, but they're actually buying that stop volume that's sitting there, the accumulation is actually gonna be long in the future. So if you put a red line there, but when we come back to there, you're expecting short, but it's actually long, it's just, so that's why I say don't do that. It, it, Cause I keep myself neutral. I guess I keep myself neutral. I'm never trying to anticipate until the moment hits and then I can anticipate. And what's awesome is now that we have audio box. I mean, we don't we don't have to guess too much <laughs> anymore. Get a setup. Get our direction. Actually, first start with the filtering. Filter structure entry. Even awesomer if you get the aggression to come with you to know whether or not you know. Really, the final question is big or small. Remember, the last thing is big or small. All right? Small. Are we hitting 10, 15, or are we going big? 15, 25, and maybe some runners because we've got, if we've got everything lined up in our direction, great, right? Maybe, and we've got, by the way, timing, please don't forget timing, timing lines, right? If we're punching in on large or king, I wanna try to go ahead and push that out. Let's see how far we can go with it. Um, or if it's if it's not, like, don't don't try to push it too hard, right? Take, uh, take the 100 bucks, take the 200 bucks, you know, and be good, move on to the next trade, right? Um, okay, we're getting to the last part here. <clears throat> not trying to volume on, just wanna see that. Yeah, lower levels agree. They were such lazy traders. I know, isn't it great? <laughs> Honestly, I have told people before this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off of this on our last thing, close this up. What do we do here? Why do we do it? <laughs> Folks, <clears throat> um, mic check, mic check. We are worthless.
<laughs> okay. We provide zero value to society with what we're actually doing. Okay. Now, a lot of jobs are like that, though, honestly. So I'm just going to put it right there. A lot of jobs are that way. J-O-B, just over broke. Everybody is sort of, but we are not saving lives here, okay? We're not a police officer. We're not um, fire department guys. We're not working in a hospital. You get what I'm saying? We're literally playing a video game. We are beating the other guy on the other side. But what I want to talk about here is <laughs> awesome. Excellent work there, Mocho. That's what I was talking about. Look at this horizontal lines. Those look nice. Very good. That's what you always want to do, okay? <clears throat> By the way, because those points of reference, I mean, this could be like three days from now. Those lines all of a sudden will hit. Okay, and there'll be a reaction at that location, and you want to be ready. Okay, they help to be ready, is all that's there for. Um, but because we are in that phase, here's what I want to say. But what gives you value is this what you do with your time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to encourage you to think about what you do with the extra time that you are given because your finances are taken care of. Number one, because you're winning this game, because you are taking those funds. Because I will tell you, I call this a wealth transfer mechanism. Algobox is a wealth transfer mechanism directly created out of the proverbial middle of the Bible thing that says in the end days that there will be a massive wealth transfer from the wicked to the righteous, which is why I filter people, which is why I don't let idiots come in our room. Okay, I want those of you good people here to succeed that wealth transfer. I want it to go to you, those of you guys who choose to do what you can with your time and with your money that you are using those things to do good things okay because we provide no other value so if you see somebody on the side of the road go over there help them out send them some cash if you got look the other day me uh, the whole family went out we we're going to some homestead thing and whatnot to go uh, drive out look at some land um i started getting a low air pressure gauge thing on my truck and i was like oh that's weird so we pulled over and went to discount tire they said oh you know it doesn't look like you got a flat or anything you just need air so I was like, oh, I'm just going to go somewhere else. I'll just go over to the, you know, uh, whatever, the next 7-Eleven next, um, or something and go get air. So, y'all, I went to three places. Really weird, okay? The first one we drove up to, there was a white truck there, massive. And, and my, my wife's like, oh, shoot, well, how are we going to get around that? Like, I was like, oh, I'll just go around them. And I was like, oh, there's not going to be very much room. I got a big truck, okay? It's, it's a monster, 35-inch tires, jacked up. You know, it's, I'm, I live in Texas, y'all, and I feel like, you know, I got to run over people. You know, it's normal. What? Everybody does that, right? Everybody's, everybody wants to run somebody over. Come on, give me a break. If you ain't got that, I don't know what you're, you're wasting your life. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I can't really get around it, but all of a sudden I realized as I, even as I pull up to this thing, it says out of order on a ripped paper and it's ripped. And I'm like, well, maybe it works. No, let's just go to the next one. So I go to the next one. Maybe two streets over. We're pulling into this one. Y'all, the air condition, you know, the air compressor thing is in a parking spot and there's a little tiny red car in it. Like parked at it. Like, I don't know why they would do that. Like, why are y'all putting the air pressure gauge thing at a parking spot? I don't even know. Okay, but whatever. Couldn't do it at that one. So I'm like, well, shoot. So I start, I'm like, wow, that's two in a row and we didn't do it at a discount. I'm like, that's three different places we've been redirected. So I told my wife, I read over, I said, you know what? I said, the Lord is guiding us right now. I don't know what he's guiding us to, but dude, this is too, this is too coincidental to just be chance. Okay. Whatever is happening right now. So I prayed in that moment, said, Lord, guide us. What are we doing? Where are we going right now? You know, maybe you're, uh, maybe we're avoiding a wreck. This is stuff I said. Maybe we're avoiding a wreck, whatever. Maybe you're timing us right to get to the location that we're going to, to meet the right person, Lord. Whoever you do, open our eyes so that we can see. Okay, <laughs> y'all. And I, God strike me dead if this, this is a lie. We go, go pull up to the next place. Ends up, yeah, I think it was a quick trip. Pull up. Well, this one's open, but y'all, there was a car just to the left. It was also another one of those spots where there's a parking spot. Okay, where you had to pull into a parking spot to go to this thing. Which I was a little bit nervous because I see a guy. He's working on two cars right here. I mean, really beat up vehicles um, in some, I mean, literally rust stain type of stuff. I don't even know what year these cars were. Okay. But, you know, there's a guy out there working. I can't really see the guy because he's on the other side. I'm pulling up and I'm like, you know me, dude, I, I don't trust anybody, anything. I'm always looking out. I'm looking around. I got my gun over on the side and I'm thinking, you know, all these bad things, being honest, right? So first thing I'm thinking is protection. So I pull up. I don't go all the way into the spot. And anyway, I start airing up my front tires and whatnot, but I'm listening and kind of assessing who this guy is and whatnot, looking over there. And I'm realizing that whole thing that I just prayed for was exactly that, hold on a second, this guy's in need of help. I'm looking and he's actually working on his car. He's literally trying to get these two cars. He's got bought, y'all, he, it costs $1.50 to charge up at that little air station. He had his own little air compressor that he was running there from an electric charge thing on his other little car. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, this guy is going to extra lengths just so much effort, you know, and I'm just like, I'm so blessed. Like, I don't know. I can't fix cars, y'all. I can't do any of that kind of stuff. So anyhow, that was what I was there to fix that day. So I, I got my tires all done. I ended up pulling all the way into the thing. 
you know, because I literally had to get my back tires. There was no way I could reach it. So I pull all the way into the thing. So I'm right up next to him. I can really tell this person is, you know, he's not some guy that I need to be worried about or concerned with or whatever. I got my family in the car. I got my gun and things. So again, be safe first, folks. Don't need to do anything stupid. Okay. But I've already assessed the situation. Everything is safe. And I realized this is the person that we were directed to, y'all. Woo! Get chills. The Lord knew that this guy, maybe he prayed that day. He was like, Lord, please help me. I don't know what's going on. So, you know, those of us who are blessed, so I am able to reach into my wallet and grab the cash that I have in my wallet and give to this man, have a conversation with the guy and say, hey, man, like you're having, having a hard time with your car today. Uh, the Lord told me today, directed us here through three other places, by the way. So the Lord has something for you today. I don't know what you prayed earlier this morning, but I have a feeling that the Lord is answering your prayers today and that I'm just going to speak a blessing over you. And I hope this helps you. So I give him a lot of cash and we're able to give to those individuals you're being guided on a regular basis but make sure the things and what you are being able to take from the markets if you are to be blessed it says that i bless you so that you may be a blessing and it says this in the command of scripture that we are gaining treasures in heaven by based on what we are doing here you are putting treasures in heaven as well as here on earth and what we're doing with those things here matters but he says this i am generously blessing you so that you may be generous on every occasion. Now, I don't know where that's actually found, so let me show you guys the quickest way to ever find anything. You can always type in Bible, and then whatever you're looking for. So Bible, um, which one was I looking for? The, um, what's the people's name? On every occasion, generous on every occasion. Generous on every, there it is, generous on every occasion. What is the passage? Here it is, Corinthians. You'll be enriched in every way so that you may be generous on every occasion. Mm -hmm. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but it is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. And these are the things when Jesus commands and says um, that where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Folks, treasures, that's your money. Where you put your money is where your heart is. The Lord knows. So if you're not doing it, folks, I'm just saying, there's a, just, just do it. Just do it. Be, be good. We are completely worthless to society by winning this game. But when we win, make sure that when you have the opportunity, we are being blessed so that we may be generous on, it didn't say some occasions, folks, every occasion where you have the opportunity to do so. Pick up the check. When you go take your parents out, your kids out, your family out, whatever, pick up the check. If you've got friends you're taking them out to dinner, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what, look, pay the check, right? Do things like that, always be generous, folks. That is the message. I pray blessings over each and every one of you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me here tonight. Happy Monday, it's good to be back, getting on the mic with you guys. Oh man, love all you guys. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'm going to be putting out a video tomorrow. Uh, what time is it? is it? Is it late? Yeah, I want to hang out with the kids here tonight. So tomorrow, we're definitely going to be doing some training and stuff. So look forward to that. Thanks for all the great advice, you guys. I got my, my notepad of goodies that you guys got for me. Thanks for all of the um, volunteering to jump in on these search project things. That's huge. I think it's going to be really helpful to everybody. You guys rock. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. From me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G. And the rest of the gang, I'm sending out the Big H Town. See ya. Yeah. Say see ya. See ya. All right. We got two kids up in here tonight. Roll it. <laughs>